Hi, we're inside my worm barn at my compost learning lab. Inside here I have 12 different types of worm bins, ranging from small that you'd have at home or in your classroom, to medium size that you could have at a school or, you know, someplace where you're generating food waste. And then I also have something that's all the rage. It's a continuous flow through reactor and it's um, eight feet by five feet. So it's 40 square feet of worm bed. So you'll be seeing all of these. Inside these macro bins are about 20,000 earthworms that are munching away on dairy manure. And I just took off the tarp. Um, the tarp helps keep in moisture. So I just pulled that back and I can see a smooth um, top here, the, the top of the bedding is very smooth and so it indicates that the worms have consumed most of the material and so it's time for another feeding. We call this the pool table effect when it's very smooth like this. When I pull back the tarp, I don't want to see earthworms. That's a sign that things are going very, very well and they're just right below the surface eating the dairy manure. So now I'm going to take this three-pronged garden tool and I'm going to dig in very gently into the bed and we'll see the earthworms that are right underneath. See? Look at those earthworms. And they're mo rapidly moving away from the light. They don't like the light out here. But you can see that they're wriggling around. These are Isenia fetida earthworms, otherwise called red wigglers. Since the worms are hungry, I'll go get some dairy manure that I store right behind the worm barn and I'll apply an inch deep of dairy manure. You don't want it to be very deep and the worms will take about a week to eat it.